<sighs> Football. Yeah, we didn't win the final. So close yet so far. But I still think we should be proud of how we did in the Euros. For the first time in my lifetime, we beat Germany in a major competition and we got to the final of a major competition. And so to celebrate how well England did, even though we didn't win the final, I'm going to review one of my all-time favourite football films. And in fact, calling it one of my favourite football films feels a bit weird because there's barely any football on screen, none of the main characters are footballers, and the film is from Iran. The film in question is called Offside. It was written and directed by Jafar Panahi, and it all takes place around a World Cup qualifying match between Iran and Bahrain. All Iran need to do to guarantee a place in the World Cup is avoid defeat. Unfortunately though, the Iranian government has banned women from going to watch the football match. And shockingly, that part of the film isn't fiction. That's something that the Iranian government actually did. But many women in Iran still want to go to the match. So instead of sitting at home and watching it on telly, they disguise themselves as men and sneak into the stadium. And that is the premise of Offside. The film opens on a bus full of Iranian supporters en route to the match. Two young men on the bus realise that one of the supporters is a woman in disguise. She looks a bit anxious, she sticks out a bit, it's probably her first time going to see a match. And it doesn't get any easier for her once she's at the stadium. The security catch her and she's put in a holding area with a bunch of other women who try to sneak in in disguise. And at that point, she kind of just stops being the main character. In fact, from that point on, the film really doesn't have a main character. Instead, it focuses on all the women who have been caught trying to sneak in. They're all being held in this pen area and they're having to rely on the soldiers guarding them to tell them what's going on in the match. In my opinion, the fact that you see barely any of the match actually plays to the film's advantage. It really puts you in the shoes of the women who aren't allowed into the stadium. It's so frustrating. It's right there. You can almost see what's happening, but not quite. Another thing it really does is highlight how much these supporters care about the match. They've got so much passion. And once again, that shows how stupid it is that they're not allowed in. This film is actually pretty funny at times. It perfectly mocks the stupidity of the situation without ever seeming patronizing or anything like that. The soldiers guarding them are pretty funny too because they're all terrified of their senior officer. None of them actually care whether the women go and see the match or not, but they're all so scared of the consequences of letting them go that they carry on guarding them. But the best thing about this film is how it was made. As you'd imagine, the Iranian government weren't too keen on it, so Jafar Panahi actually sent them a fake script that was actually all about men going to see the football match, and that script got approved on the condition that he went back and re-edited some of his other films, which had also been pretty controversial. Jafar didn't want to, so he made the film anyway. Unsurprisingly, this film got banned in Iran when it was released, but I kind of feel like that was the point. If this film hadn't got banned, it would have done something wrong. The film had to be controversial, it had to highlight how dumb this whole thing was. Otherwise, you may as well have not made it. But the best part, the absolute best part of all, is that this film was made at the Iran vs Bahrain World Cup qualifier. They actually snuck into the match that the film was set in in order to film. Jafar Panahi had to write two different outcomes for the film. One if Iran lost 
and one of Iran won. The entire outcome of the film was determined by the outcome of the match that they were actually filming at. That is amazing. In fact, I love the way that Offside was made so much that I've decided to pay tribute to it in this video. At the time of filming, the match between Italy and England hasn't actually happened yet. I've filmed two different outcomes for this video. One if England win the Euros and one if England lose the final. Fingers crossed I'll be able to use the happy outcome for this video. I have a horrible feeling that I won't be able to, but fingers crossed I will. If you're a fan of guerrilla filmmaking, you absolutely have to watch Offside. This is the amount of rule breaking that I expect from every independent film. It is the epitome of independent filmmaking. It's crazy. But even if you don't care that much about how this film got made, I can still highly recommend it. It does so well conveying the passion of supporters when they're watching a football match. It does so well conveying how stupid sexism can be, especially in Iran. And on top of all of that, it's just a really entertaining film. Come on, England.